Hi, I'm Melinda Sun. I'm a 7th grader going to Highland Park Middle School in Beaverton, Oregon. My project is about the factors of evolution and whether we humans are still evolving. I wrote a type of computer program called a genetic algorithm to answer these questions. The genetic algorithm begins by randomly generating a genome composed of 6,400 bits. It then creates a similar population of human chimpanzee ancestors and a human that is 3% different. In a process mimicking evolution over a million generations, the species reproduce with mutations and elimination of the members with the worst genes. The fitness function, which defines which genes are worse, is closeness to the modern human. In different runs of this program, I changed the mutation and elimination rates. My program is written in Python. As such, it's centered around functions. There are functions to randomly generate a species genome, mutate one, create an offspring from two parents, calculate each specimen's fitness, create a population from one original, and evolve the population one generation forward. These are all used throughout the program. Pressing F5 runs the program. One run of a million generations of evolution takes about three days. After a month of runs, I got my results. I found that increasing the mutation rate sped up evolution up until around 20,000 times the modern human mutation rate, where the population instead got farther away from its goal instead of closer. A higher elimination did consistently speed up evolution, though. At the modern human mutation rate, 60 per birth, evolution didn't occur at all with 15% elimination and progressed very, very slowly with 50% elimination. No mutation and no elimination both led to no evolution by staying at one fitness or getting worse, respectively. From this, I drew several conclusions. First, humans are not evolving anymore which also implies that our mutation rate has changed throughout history. Second, mutation and elimination are both necessary for evolution. Finally, more elimination and mutation up to a point speeds up evolution. And that's my project. I hope you enjoy learning about it.